Call of the Wild is directed by Chris Sanders and stars Harrison Ford and Terry Notary as Buck the Dog. And I don't know if this is a fully completed movie. It's essentially three short stories in one film that follow a singular character's journey, and that character being this completely CGI dog. And I mean, it, it, Karen Gillan is in this movie for about three minutes and then completely disappears without mention or trace. It is completely desensitized because when there would or should be blood due to dogfights or bullet wounds, there's absolutely nothing to show what actually happened or to give a clue as to what happened. I mean, Christ, every time a gun fires off, it's off screen or guns are hardly in the movie or even seen through editing. And I don't want to accuse Disney of heavily editing down a film that was originally not theirs, but that's what this movie feels like. It feels if it, as if everything that would have gone against the grain has either been scrapped or completely edited out of the film, and that's why it feels like there's such a big shift in between acts because each story essentially takes up the three acts of the movie and it just feels a little wonky at times and I, I like the setting of this movie but everyone at least tries to make it seem as if it is actually the early 1900s but Harrison Ford is just being Harrison Ford and him acting against a completely CGI character does not work uh, the eye line is consistently missing its mark and the dog in general has an uncanny valley feel to it uh, the dog looks fine on its own, for the most part, but whenever it has to interact with a human, it does not look natural at all, and there are multiple times throughout this film where something that's in-screen relating to the dog is CGI, and then it happens to come off the dog, and it looks terrible, and then it goes back to being a actual 3D object, and it looks terribly unreal. But, like I said, this film feels as if there are three separate stories with their own character arcs, self-contained stories, villains, and especially tone. But with that being said, I rather liked it. This might be the average moviegoer in me, but I found this film charming and endearing. I did not connect with the CGI dog whatsoever, and it's hard to connect emotion to something that's clearly not real, but I still liked what they were able to do with the dog's journey and explaining... Well, giving, um... I can't think of the literary term. They give... They give human characteristics to this dog that makes it easy to connect with in a way, even though that kind of negates what I just said. Uh, the direction, I think, is something to be left at home. Like I said, huge chunks of this movie seem to have been completely edited out, and the framing at times felt way too claustrophobic. Plus, the decision to not even try and create real environments and use completely green screen environments was not convincing at all and looked very rudimentary. Now, I have two rules when it comes to me seeing movies and reviewing them. No Christian propaganda, and no dog movies. I find them to be manipulative and are made to catch a quick buck because, oh, look, it's cute puppies. But I broke that rule with The Call of the Wilderness, and I'm glad that I did. It's not a perfect movie, not by a long shot, but I strangely found myself enjoying it. Something in me connected with the story and what they were trying to say and tell, and I just found the whole thing endearing. But it was, and always will be weird to sit down and see a movie with 20th century studios before it or searchlight studios before it as opposed to 20th century fox or fox searchlight keep it disney you own it just leave it 20th century fox it's weird 6.5 out of 10